All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Kakadash. Double honors to my apostles, elders, great millstone, who rule will, teach will, be a great example to us, brothers, man. Just a quick uh, morning, impromptu. You. you know, man, we got to get out of this place, man. You know, and shalom to the hopeful elect, man. As you can see, uh, the times are speeding up. They was just on the news talking about uh, the Earth, uh, the magnetic field inside of uh, the Earth is starting to slow down to the point where it's going to start reversing or something like that. Now, what does that mean? That means a whole lot of death, pretty much, probably. Okay? A whole lot of withering away. <laughs> withering away, man. Just like America. Just like Esau Edom's kingdom. This Roman Empire. Pretty much withering away, man. And we, we're, we're thankful. <laughs> Slakia. Slakia. Yeah, we're thankful, man. Okay? It's withering away, man. These women are withering away. Yeah, I just, I just talked to my, uh, my daughter's mother. You know, I was, I was, uh, I was going to go pick my daughter up for school or whatever, you know, like, like I do sometimes and take her to school. Cause you know, they don't have a car over there or whatever. And, um, this woman didn't even know, like drugs is a bad thing, man. This place is withering away. Nine out of every ten people that you drive by, you walk by, you work by, they're all on drugs. They're all on some kind of pill. Every day you drive past Kroger or one of these stores that has a connected pharmacy or any kind of pharmacy, uh, guess what? They're always packed. And who's making that money? The medical industry. Okay? See, the medical industry got cures for nothing. They just want you doped up. And if you go into that word pharmacy, it goes into pharmacia, which goes into witchcraft. To doctor your, the state of your mind. That's like a form of magic, man. And that's what they use. That's what these devils use on the whole world. Just think, everybody in America, everybody that's surrounded you, wherever you are right now, nine out of ten of them are on drugs, bro. I'm talking about hard drugs. You think weed and alcohol something these people be on pills that have them gone man they be fucking gone forgive my language they're all drugged out if they if they didn't have it they would go crazy that's why when prices of these different pills and these different drugs rise up these people are going to start killing everybody man they can't go without it they've been on the same drug for 20 years 20 plus years like, why do you have to be on a drug that long, man? Why can't you just cure my condition? But Esau, Edom don't got no cures for nothing. Anyway, I was I went to go pick my daughter up. And this, this dumb broad, she's like, what are you talking about? I never told you to come pick you up. And then I showed her the text message. And she was like, well, I, I was talking about that yesterday morning. And I said, bitch, you text me at 4.33 p.m. Then I looked at her. Looked her in her eyes. I said, are you okay? Then I automatically lowered the spirit. was telling me, man, that she, she on some drugs, man. She, just them damn drugs. And I got pissed instantly, man. Everybody is on something around here. All these people, no matter how uh, well off they look, no matter how uh, healthy they look, no, nah, no, nah, you, you people ain't healthy. You fucking on drugs. People fucking running every day and going on bike rides. Nah, you, when you get home, you taking, dropping pills and shit, man. Trying to fake out the world. But inside, you, you, you're you through, man. You can't live without those pills. You can't live without that heroin, that opium, or whatever it is that's inside of those pills. That's inside of that meth. A lot of these rich folks are taking meth now. They be rich as hell, sitting there on meth and shit, man. Like, come on, man. Everybody's on drugs, man. Anyway, man. Just thought I'd share that. 
went to go try to pick up my daughter and this woman didn't even know she told me to come pick her up man and then they were going to be late to work or to taking her to school i'm like i could take it right now i'm here right now she's like no 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 we're gonna that's why I hope, man, something happened. Man, I hope that the Lord just gives me my daughter, man. I'm going to just go, go try to get custody, man. Because this is pathetic, man. All these people in America are on drugs. Every single one of them. They are freaking gone, man. And they got spirits on them. You know, those drugs have spirits in them. I'm pulling up to Dick Sporting Goods right quick. I got to go. But anyway, man, Shalom. Hopefully this mess was edifying.